Hello everybody, my name is David Rios and I'm a graduate from the Music Technology Innovation Program in Berkeley, Valencia. I'm here with you today to do a quick run through of the MIDI mapping that I used for my performance with Francisco earlier. Let's get right into it. Basically what I did with the guitar wing was try to use as many of the built-in effects that the Wing FX plugin comes with. The Wing FX plugin is a VST plugin that comes with the guitar wing so that right out of the box you can try it and see its capabilities and have fun with it. So basically that's not the only thing you can do. The other things you can do is you can combine with your own effects. You can do different mappings for the guitar wing which is what I did. As you can see here in my rig I added three effects, I added some resonators, some overdrive and some phasers that I mapped to these top buttons and I can turn them on and off using these buttons and as well I use a combination of the built-in effects I left basically I left the, the pitch bend buttons in here and I left some delays and the, the signal crusher the Y effect and the signal cutter as well. So that's basically that's basically what I did, as you can see here, with the crusher. As for for more of an electrical sound, you can do like a, this type of effect. Right, you have the Y in here. Signal cutter. And one of my favorite things here you have a delay on and off, and you have a delay tap tempo to set the time of your of your delay, right? So look at this one. That's basically what I used. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Hi, I'm Francisco Rafart, Chapman Stick Performer, Composer. I recently graduated from Berklee College of Music in Spain where I did a Music Technology Master's program and I'm now at Livid Instruments testing the guitar wing. This product that is originally thought for guitar is adaptable to other instruments. So you can see here how it is attached to my Chapman stick. What I first did is map these four buttons into my Ableton Live rig. Specifically, I mapped them to a stutter edit plugin that you can see here. And I control different effects in stutter edit for the, for the sound of, of the Chapman stick. So if you remember at the beginning of the, of the track, I played some chords. That's really dry, so what I did is add some spice to it with the started edit and the guitar wing. On the next section I played, I played a solo and I added some distortion that I control with this button. Playing a solo with the stick allows me to have my left hand free so I could perform the guitar wing as I played with my right hand on the strings. So it came something really organic. Here's like an example of what I did. In the last section I did something more ethereal. I mixed a lot of effects that I control with the guitar wing. First of all, the same distortion. Then I mapped the, sec the next button to a Max for Live effect I, I built myself, which is a signal cutter, and it sounds like this. It cuts periodically the signal. On a third step, 
I map this touch fader to a delay. So it sounds kind of like this. And in the fourth step, I map this touch fader to a, to a filter that allows me to make a real ethereal effect. Hope you enjoyed how I use the guitar wing and see you next time.